So it's recording, right? It is recording. Hey internet and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. I am here with my co-workers Jasmine and Erin <laughs> and we're gonna do something actually Christmassy today. I want to know about your experiences with Santa and like okay. whether or not you believed in Santa and when you figured it out. So I believed in Santa until I was about 13 years old. It was like a real big thing in my house, you know, I wrote letters to Santa. Now that I'm older, I think about everything and I'm just like, wow. Like, that didn't really make any sense. So I used to write my list to Santa, but I used to do it out of, like, a J.C. Penney's book. Yeah. So I used to circle, <laughs> I used to yeah. circle it. Yeah. I used to write the item number out yeah. everything. That's because and... our parents didn't <laughs> yeah. want to walk. <laughs> yeah. And then um, I used to leave out the milk and cookies. And my parents, they would go all out. Like, they would buy two separate wrapping papers. So they would have oh, one yeah. wrapping paper, like, this is from us. And then they would have, like, cartoon characters <laughs> and stuff like that. And this is from Santa. Did they sign the labels, like, from Santa? Oh, yeah, yes. oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then one year, I even wrote a, a letter to Santa saying, you know, thank you for delivering my toys. Can I have oh. your autograph? And my dad signed it, but I didn't know it was my dad until about like <laughs> two years ago where I put it together and I was like, wait, that was my dad's signature. I'm imagining that situation where you're like, oh, dad, how did you get similar handwriting? Right. Yeah, no, this is yeah. yeah, like it didn't even click to me. Once I saw it, I was just happy. Oh my gosh, Santa, I got Santa's right. autograph. Yeah, like, it went right over so excited. Way yeah. over my head that it was my dad. And then like, we didn't have like a fireplace. So I'm like, how is Santa coming down the chimney? And my mom was just like, it's magic. So you know, like in the movies where like, it just appears for Santa to come. So that's what happens. And you know, and I was you a kid. It. I was just like, okay. I was a little bit younger. I would say like nine-ish. I don't know the exact age though. But same thing, different paper, the presents were all around the tree. Yeah. We also did not have a chimney, so that was interesting. <laughs> but again, you ne you never really questioned it. Nope. It was like Santa was real. And then I got to like the stage where I knew Santa wasn't real, but I was like, no way, this is my parents. <laughs> um, every year my father was Santa Claus at Christmas Eve, and I never knew until actually like five years ago <laughs> when that came out, and I was like, oh my gosh. And my mom showed us some videos and everything, and I was like, that is his voice. That is my dad. All the presents were from Santa, and then some were from my parents, but I never noticed the handwriting, never <laughs> noticed any gifts in the house. I don't know how they did it, to be honest. They, they hid mine in the basement. Yeah, I guess that's what they did, but we were always down there, so I really don't even I never know. went to my basement. When you think about it, that's actually pretty ingenious, because if you think that the presents are coming from Santa, you're not going to think to look around your right, house. Right, exactly. You're not yeah. sleeping. Yeah. yeah. And really then I remember when I found out for sure that he was fake, my biggest concern was, how are we paying for all of this? <laughs> I was so concerned about, oh, it's, I don't need gifts anymore, like, it's too much money, I, like, never wanted to ask for stuff. But that did not last long. I didn't have that experience at all. <laughs> you were like, awesome. I was just like, oh, okay, so I can just give you my list now. I don't have to like mail it or anything. Yeah. How did you find out that? I think my sister was older and like you would just hear over here things. My sister like slipped, but again, you never questioned it. And mm -hmm. then when we moved to Maryland, I just asked one day. I was like, so Sam's fake. And my dad was like, yes, yeah, Sarah. And I was just like, <laughs> And then my mom came home and I was like, we can't afford all these gifts. I was like, <laughs> this is crazy. Friend. Mine was dramatic because oh, <laughs> I, at 13, we did, I was, okay, maybe I was 12, but I know I was old. We didn't have a house phone downstairs on the first floor yet. So I was upstairs in my bedroom and the phone rang and it was my mom's friend. So I went downstairs oh to God. give her the phone and I walked in on them wrapping my gifts. Oh and no. Saw, and I was just like, did you say anything? I didn't. I just handed the phone what and I went back upstairs and I closed my eyes. Oh. And it's just a dream. It's just a dream. That's so funny. But then it was just like, yeah, Santa Claus. It's real. Yeah. It all made sense. Yeah. Then I started piecing things together. My childhood was much less magical. <laughs> <laughs> I, for some reason, never believed in Santa. I, I'm not really sure why. So my mom would do the thing where she would put presents under the tree and label them, but like she wouldn't label them from anyone. She okay. would just leave them blank and they would just be our names. So like, I guess she was figuring if we wanted to please in Santa, to we could. And I think my little brother did, I never did. My little brother did ruin it for my cousins oh. one year. Like went and told them like, no, 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 Santa's not real. And it was this big hullabaloo in our family. Not the greatest thing. They were probably so devastated. Yeah, yeah. and they were so into Santa and it's, like. Yeah, and especially when it's coming from someone similar to your age, I feel like yes. you want to fight them on it. Yes. yes. Like you want to be yes. like, no, he's real. Yeah. And yeah. then it's like, 
He's just not. It was this huge <laughs> argument because our whole family gets together. And I think it might have actually been on a Christmas Eve when everyone oh, was coming no. in. And that was like we knew that it was from the gifts were from the family, but the next day it was going to be right. the Santa, Santa gifts. And so I, I, oh, I wish I remembered it better, but I'm pretty sure it was like this big fight. And then my cousins like ran <laughs> and went to their mom and was like, Matt's trying to say that Santa's not real. Oh, and it was like tears. Oh yeah, it was. Oh. Yeah, yeah so. my mom was so upset at that lady that called. I don't think they, they're friends anymore. I don't know if that was the reason why. But. <laughs> like, how dare you call <laughs> my house? You have no idea. Yeah. I would imagine it's hard keeping the gifts from kids nowadays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. we're, I guess, like, the wrapping part. I mean, you could probably hide them in your bedroom, but, yeah. like, wrapping-wise. I know the kids I nanny um, on Thanksgiving, they sleep over, and that's when they do all their shopping, the majority of it, and they wrap. And then the kids aren't in the house, and then yeah. I guess I don't know where they hide it. Probably in the basement somewhere, but I I guess that'd be tough. Yeah. Well, you'll find out when you have. I know. I will. <laughs> you'll get creative. Yeah, I'm sure. I just realized I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer sure. because my one of my nieces, or maybe both of them, watch my videos, and oh. so I'm gonna have to be like, hey, don't Do let oh. them watch this video. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Imagine that would be I don't <laughs> Sad if oh, I was God. a part of a video, yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah, we ruined, yeah, oh, no. Christmas and they're party. so into it, like they do yeah. the letters and the cookies, oh, yeah. like the carrots for the ring. And even and when you walk into the mall or like Macy's at our mall, it's like a big mailbox. Yeah, so you yes. like, cannot miss it. And it's I like still a write, big pencil. I still write them. <laughs> That's adorable. I love the whole magic of Christmas. <sighs> I'm so excited. I was so heartbroken when my brother was like, Santa's not real. And I'm like, what do you mean? Santa's not real. Yes, he is. I know, you try so hard, but you're like, it's fake. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people that I've heard the story from, there's like a year of denial where they're like, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure he's exactly. not real, I but like, I'm, I'm not asking. It. Like, yeah. I know, like, a man is not coming in my house. It's not right. Like, Super you know, I, I started getting to the thing where my mom was like, oh, sleep on the couch. And I'm like, that's weird. Uh, that's scary. And then I was like, there's no way this is happening. But I never, for like a year or two, I did it. And then finally I was like, Dad, is Santa real? And he was like, oh, no. And I was like, <laughs> got it. Cool. Okay. So like, you childhood yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was my Christmas experience. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing no, that. Of course. I'm this glad you fun. finally yeah. got to be on a video. I know. Just before. We'll have to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one. We'll watch this Well, one. I've been watching them. I'm slacking on this month, though. Okay. Because you usually, do them at, you usually do them after work. And yeah. then it's like if I get home, I'm like, sometimes I'll watch like three at a time now, like knock them out. It's like oh catching gosh. up on my shows and like I have to catch up on my videos. <laughs> Let us know about your Santa stories down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Santa's real. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>